20 million, 636,000 and 700. This should have been the amount in my bank account. But this was my actual profit. A lot of you people might think I lost quite a sum of money, right? Actually, it was much worse. What I lost was the opportunity for financial freedom. Freedom to do what I want, when I want. And in the next 15 minutes, I want, to you, I want you to take on a journey with me to show how we can all reach freedom to do what we want, when we want, in the future, if we slightly change our society values. Imagine it's 2011. You buy 300 Bitcoins. And one year later, you sell them all. Pretty stupid, right? That's exactly what I did. Looking back, I still wish I wouldn't have sold them all. But it was the beginning of a journey through Bitcoin, blockchain, and beyond. And it was fascinating. When the Bitcoin price were peaking, a lot of people jumped into Bit blockchain to see what it is about. And a lot of new cryptocurrencies suddenly came out. And nearly every few seconds, there was a new cryptocurrency that could have made me a billionaire, apparently. At least that's what I was told through social media. From Facebook to TikTok, everywhere, there was this crypto boom and NFTs and everything should have been an opportunity which I lost. And during the pandemic, there was a huge social media hype. And if you wanted to become an influencer back then, all you had to do is assign a nice song and do in the perfect moment this. And you get like millions of views. Or you can take an obvious video and show something very, very obvious and do this. And you can add tons of millions of followers. So why were these people doing this? For fun or for freedom? to do what they want, when they want. I'm quite sure a lot of people listening to this right now know what this logo means. When we thought we had seen it all, suddenly last year something new rises up, generative artificial intelligence. In this case, ChatGBT. It changed the world literally in a couple of days. Within five days, ChatGBT could manage to get 1 million users. And within two months, it could reach 100 million users. That's incredible. That's a whole new record, right? And it changed the world. All of these technological trends in isolation are amazing. They are fascinating. But what if they could interact with each other, exchange data, talk to each other? Since I'm from the insurance industry, I want you... I want to show you guys an example how it could turn out. So picture a stormy night. You're sitting in your living room and you hear a glass shattering in your kitchen. So you walk over to see all this glass from the broken window because of the storm on the floor. A couple of years ago, we would start looking around for a broom to swipe it away. Well, our habits change, right? So now we start looking around for our phone to post it on social media. Because that's what we do. We share our experiences for every day. And now imagine you do exactly the same, but you tag your insurance company that you have insured your household with in this picture. And there does need to be an intern badly paid to scan all these pictures to see which is relevant. It can be done through artificial intelligence. And it can search for the weather radar and see there is a storm in your area and it knows you are a client. And with the help of blockchain, which is just a validation method for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, you can get a refund within minutes to get your window repaired the very next day without paperwork, without bureaucracy, even in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> One day. Imagine a flood from minor water damages to people searching for help, seeking for help. It could done by same. You can post a picture, your location is there, you can tap the help you want and you can change the reaction or the outcome. You know, a couple of years ago, we had this pandemic, you might have heard of it. And we had everyone running around with phones and we had all these apps to notify us 
for example, you were in contact with someone who was tested positive and the app gave you a notification, you might yourself want to get tested. In my opinion, which would be a huge addition to Tinder and all the dating apps nowadays, by the way. But imagine using it in a really good case. So your health insurance, who is benefiting from you being in a good health, can get and receive the information that you have been in contact with a person with flu or any other sickness and you are decreasing health in the next day. So what happens is you get an insurance care packet to prevent your low health in the next days. Quite amazing. And to be honest, a little bit scary, right? Because with all this new profound transparency, there comes some concerns. Concerns like, do I really want to everyone to know who I'm with, which location and what I'm doing. But, you know, if there is, we have always to weigh which information we are willing to give away for what benefit. And if there is one thing you want to take away, if we want to move from present to future, we have to believe that the outcome will be positive. And our belief in the positive outcome has to be greater than the fear of the outcome. Otherwise, we will block a lot of things that we could reach as society and as human that could help us. Future means change. And change means doing things we don't know. And doing things we don't know always scares us. That's natural. That's biological, right? That helps us surviving. Right now, the biggest fear is of artificial intelligence, right? Losing jobs, machines turning evil, killing us, or taking over the world like we did as humans. So is it just so negative or maybe it can give us back? AI can help us reach something and give us back that we all desire for, that we all want freedom to do what we want and when we want. Doesn't matter what you do, if you're a student or if you have any job, imagine your workload of eight hours. With the help of AI, you can get it done in two hours. So does it really mean I have to be four times more productive now? With all the AI things I can learn, new skills, new abilities, does it really mean my next resume, I have to fulfill a dozen load of work and maybe several different jobs to get accepted? Is this really the new society values we want to set in? Or maybe it is time to focus on the most wonderful resource and valuable resource we have. And it's not Bitcoin, it's not gold, it's our time, it's our life. And maybe it is time we use it for our efficiency, not to just improve any further, but to hold what we have and enjoy more time. We did this all the time in the past. Machines helped us develop a lot. Machines help us work out. Some of us. They help us drink our coffee in the morning, right? They help us not to run around with stake of cash in our pocket just to pay five euros. They help us wash our clothes, not to go and search for a river to wash it. They literally built, help us build our world. They help us create everything you see right now. And they help us save lives, human lives. And in my case, personally, they help me not to die of boredom. You know, maybe this time, it's not about a single product or a single service we can get. Maybe this time we have to see how we can change our society values and maybe change how, what we want to enjoy and how, what we want to give away our next generations. Maybe this time it is more time to focus on our lives and the best assets we have. And we should protect it and we should embrace it. Looking back, Bitcoin, blockchain, the crypto hype, social media boom during the pandemic, AI. You know, all of this was needed so I can be here, share my vision and ideas with you guys. To be honest, 
I really wish I wouldn't have sold these bitcoins. Future means change and change is good.